Hi, this is Trey, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Interpretome. Interpretome was a tool put together by a team here, as you see here, at Stanford. And Interpretome allows you to take your raw data from 23andMe or Lumigenics and view it and explore it in a way that you might not be able to at 23andMe and Lumigenics. So to do so, first of all, you need to get that data. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction to getting the data and putting it in Interpretome and basically a few things that you can find. Now I'm going to give this in a very introductory manner. Um, there's lots of biological terminology and jargon used at Interpretome and some of it uh, even some biologists might not understand. In the blog post I'm going to link you to some explanations um, and definitions of that and some of the concepts. But right here I'm just going to show you how to use it and maybe you can actually get started. So let's go first to 23andMe as you see we go to the home page and to show you how to get the data um, Lumigenics is going to be a little bit different so you go to your account you go to browse raw data once you click that you'll see a link here that says download raw data so we're going to click that once you do that you're going to put in your password your secret answer and the profile that you want pull out all the data as it says here and download so now I've already downloaded the data I want so I'm going to go back to Interpretome click browse choose find the data set that I want upload it takes a few seconds sometimes there we go then choose the population that this individual most likely um, resembles and this person is an african-american so we're going to choose african-american population here and then once you do that there's several things you can do you can look up SNPs I explained that in the blog post a little bit and we'll go through that later in later to video tip you can explore the data. There's many exercises that were done at a Stanford course for personalized medicine and genomics. And I'm just going to pick out one, the Neanderthal, to give you a, the contribution of the Neanderthal genome to that, your genome. And so we click that and we see it's a little bit, it's not a whole lot, but there are some alleles, the reputative Neanderthal alleles that were contributing to this genome, a few. So you can also do clinical, we'll do that in another video tip that allows you to do things like find diabetes, disease, warfarin response, and pharmacogenetics, which we'll explain a little bit, and ancestry. So we'll go a little bit um, less deep than the Neanderthal. We'll look at, uh, uh, real quickly, PCA and painting. And similarity is basically, it takes your percentage similarity to some other individuals. PCA is ancestry by principle component analysis. It's basically puts you in the context of a population, so in your genomics. So it's not um, particularly fine-tuned. You can't you know, tell you that you're um, Northern Irish, for example. But you basically pick a population. In this case, I'm going to choose HapMap World. Um, as you see here, there's different populations you can choose. There's different resolutions you can choose and accesses. And I'll explain that a little bit more in the blog post. Right now, just do the defaults. And then we're going to visualize, and I'll show you what it does. Basically, see, it gives you kind of population. So this is the European populations, Southern Italian. Here we have Northern European, European populations. This individual here is MKK, which I will show you in um, what that means. These are all population abbreviations. Basically puts it in a bit um, African-American, not completely African, because here's the African population here. And that's because they, there's some contribution to the European um, admixture here in this individual. So you can also see ancestry painting. And that allows you to um, see where in the you know, which chromosome locations were contributed by which populations. Um, again, it is not an exact, but it gives you a good idea. We're going to skip the advanced painting. We'll just do HapMap 2. HapMap 3 is um, experimental, not full. We'll just paint the chromosomes. And as you see, this individual has lots of African population contributions and European on each arm of the chromosome. Again, I'm going to explain this more fully in the blog post um, and explain some of this terminology that might be opaque to you. Um, but it basically gives you a general idea. You can change, by changing the options though, you can change how this looks and um, what it pulls up. So I'm going to show that in the blog post, uh, but that gives you a basic understanding of how to get to this data and how to start using it. And we'll do another video tip later. Thank you.